great fight last night, people. Oh, man, I ain't gonna lie. I almost cried. Uh, I, I watched a few of uh, Lamont Peterson fight. He's a good damn fighter. I mean, he dug deep. He dug deep down in his heart to pull this fight out. Um, it was no robbery. It was no robbery. That man earned that fight tonight. He earned that fight. I'm telling you. Okay, what was the last time you seen uh, Amir Khan with track shoes on? He was literally running from pillar to post. I mean, running. He wasn't on no bicycle. He wasn't doing the Muhammad Ali shuffle. He was running because he respected Peterson's punching power. That boy ain't got no heart. He ain't got no heart whatsoever. Not one time did he do any infighting. Did he, he fight inside at all? Not one time did he. But he crying about foul. Uh, did you hear what he said to ref last night? Oh, it was a foul. Oh, Peterson this, Peterson that, oh, the ref. No. But he was, pulling, he was literally pulling his head up. This is not MMA. This is a boxing match. He was literally pulling the guy's head, holding his head intentionally. He deserved to have those points taken away. Do, do refs normally do that? I haven't seen it, but it's not illegal. And I've seen far worse. Peterson deserved that fight, man. It was a great upset. And I wish I had money. I wish I, got, I wish I had some money to bet on this fight because I, 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 I would have got paid. <laughs> I would have got paid last night because well, no, I don't think hardly anybody besides his hometown was really going for Peterson. I'm just saying. <laughs> but uh, it was a great upset. Peterson, man, you got it. Um, if I was you, if I was your camp, I would not, you know, go into a rematch right away with uh, the American. That's what they want. They want to steal them belts back. Man, I will hold on to that belt. I'll make them wait two or three fights. Get all the money you can. <laughs> I'll make them wait. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a rematch. It's going to be a rematch, but not right away. Yeah, you said it on, on air. That would mean that you have to do it right next year. In a few months, don't do it. I wouldn't do it because you're just feeding it to Delahoy and all of them, man. If you've been, you know, Peterson is has this is his first time ever been champion. He's been in the game for like what seven years now, and he's a, and he came into his own last night. He came to his own. Now he's a champion. Good job, man. Uh, I had you pick. I had you pick from jump. I knew you was gonna do this upset. Lamont Peterson is the shit. He's a hard worker. He's a good guy. You can see he got a good heart. He's a humble guy. Uh, American's a little dirty, little cheating ass motherfucker, man. Well, really, he's a dirty, little cheating ass motherfucker. He, you see the way he fought Judah? He came at Judah like he was King Kong. That motherfucker ran like a little bitch last night. Real shit. He ran from post pillar to post. I don't care what nobody say. He was running. I swear to God, I kept looking at his motherfucking feet to see that bitch had track shoes on, man. Real shit. <laughs> Quit running, up If you a champion, you ain't got to run. You ain't got to run like that. I mean, damn, it was it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And thank God that Lamont was in shape. He was in shape because he was right there with him. The only thing I, uh, that I saw that Lamont wasn't really doing was he was really cutting off the ring good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? When he was when when, Mir, when the mirror was coming around on that that left side, that blind side of him, he should have been throwing out that damn hook. To catch his ass. He couldn't really jab the guy. You can't run you can't jab no guy, run it, attract me. You know what I'm saying? He had to trap this guy. He would have to trap this guy in the corner or like he did on the rope when he when, when he got him. You know, only, only a couple times he uh in the middle of the ring he actually, you know, threw some good punches. Lamar actually threw some some good punches, but I mean he, he got him to the rope. Once he got him to the rope, Amir eating them eating up them punches. I think if he hit him a little bit harder back here around the ear, that had dropped him. He was taking them he was taking them head punches. He was taking them head punches real good. But uh, if he had caught him like right up in here, behind the ear, he probably would have dropped his ass, man. And then nobody had nothing to say. But hey, Peterson earned it. Uh, it wasn't a hometown decision. The guy deserved it. He worked his ass off. He ran all night long, still punching and punching and punching and getting hit. He was taking punches and, and giving punches, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't no defensive genius. But a lot of that shit that Amir was throwing, he was dodging. A lot of that shit in the middle round, you go back and watch the fight, he was dodging. And he ain't no Floyd Mayweather Jr. So I can't wait to see this fight between him and Floyd. Because <laughs> he ain't going to do Floyd like that. And he going to come at Floyd. He ain't going to run either because he, he don't respect Floyd's punching power. He respected Peterson because Peterson has, a, what, 15, 16 KOs or something like that. He's a good puncher. You know, he's a puncher boxer. That shit that Amir was doing last night. I swear to God, you couldn't tell me he was on. He he had to be on some Superman juice. He had to. From round one to round twelve, 
Nigga, you were running from pillar to post? Real shit? Man, come on. You a champion? Champions ain't... Man, you, 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 you come to America talking all that smack? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come to his hometown talking all that smack and you gonna run like a little, like a little girl? <laughs> I ain't never been no car fan. He was exposed for a little heartless ass little dude, man, for real. And, um, I'm gonna let y'all go, but it was a great fight. It wasn't no robbery. Yeah, the referee was a little green. Or he just wasn't, uh, you know, there's nobody getting his pockets yet. You know what I'm saying? He was uh, obviously, uh, 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 got me stuttering and shit. Obviously, he was an honest referee. At first, I thought he was something because he had his ass all in front of the fucking camera all night. All, for like three seconds, like, three, four seconds, I swear to God, we didn't see shit. His ass, I, I, I about lost my fucking mind. <laughs> I'm like, move, motherfucker. But, uh, yeah, man, shit. He was great. I think he was inexperienced. And ain't nobody got to him yet. It was nobody that's talking. On the hometown decision, he called how he saw it. Reason why we don't see it because the other goddamn rivers probably sold. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers is bought. You feel me? Somebody don't open their motherfucking pockets because they be calling some bullshit. He deducted two points. Even if he hadn't deducted two points, I believe Peterson, it would it would have came to a draw. Nobody was knocked down. You know, uh, it was it was called a slip. So nobody was knocked down or knocked out. It was a very close fight. I mean, if you look up from Peterson's side. He was running to try to catch this guy all night. And man was running. He wasn't dictating no fight. You know what I'm saying? He would stop for a couple seconds and throw punches and bunches and shit and, and, and take off running again. You ain't no champ, man. Take that shit back to motherfucking England. This America. I'm out. I do this every fucking time. Oh shit, I'm still recording. <laughs> My bad. Stop, motherfucker.